hello everyone welcome to learning python so today we'll play with you know how we can do some basic computations in rainfall it's very basic you know we, because we're just starting so let's create some synthetic rainfall we'll generate some time you now we'll use numpy library imported as np and then we can define some time so you can assume any unit let's say we have a rainfall event for every five minutes some we have some record because we need every five minutes either you know we could have used arrange um, function if you are using linear space so 0 to 100 we have to we will have 21 numbers so we are getting you know 0 5 10 you can see the output then we can take some any rain and uh, you know random rainfall so we are getting now you know 21 five minute storm uh, events and you can see how the for each value how this looks like since we know the you know the how we are getting the data 0 to 5 minute this much is the so much you know mm of rainfall 5 to 10 minute this is the rainfall so a bar plot makes more sense to plot such kind of behavior so we'll import this you know this matplot library and instead of the plot here we can use bar the uh, you know here we can give the x location where we have our time which we generated synthetically and the rainfall amount so you can see a nice graph how we are getting the rainfall and some observation we can make there are some time where we are getting rainfall very close to zero there are some times you know we are getting rainfall as high as one because this was the random uniform distribution we have taken in reality it does not mean the rainfall is uniform distributed you know typically it has low uh, normal distributions it's more skewed okay it's not uh, uniformly distributed we can also use save uh, you know save figure it's called plt.savfig where we can give the location of file and current plot you know can be saved whenever i work on any project i prefer to save all these figures which later i can incorporate in you know my project in fact i used to save figure with you know adding the date and current date and time so if i re rerun my program at least my old results are preserved otherwise you know many time we overwrite our file and some input file was corrupted and then we lose everything we need to redo so i used to put the time step on each figure which i used to save sometime you know we'll try to do that later now here we have for 100 minute let's say we can call it the rainfall in every five minute now we want to look at let's say you know the cumulative rainfall so from the numpy there is a function defined cumulative sum you know it will start accumulating let's say we have uh, uh, 0.29 then you save it so it becomes about uh, 0.43 then you save this 0.45 so this it can you know keep on start saving so you can compute uh, cumulative rainfall and you can see the output 0.29 0.43 it's cumulative sum it will be you know always uh, more or less increasing because the values are not zero right? so there will be some increment in each value when we do plotting in other um, you know uh, GUI or UI sometimes the earlier figure may remain because in Python what happens when methodically what happens you make a figure whatever you are doing this is acting on the previous figure whatever is visible so many time it may start rewriting the earlier figure so you can use CLF which means clear figure so it will delete uh, uh, previous figure it will not delete from the hard disk if we have saved it but from the memory it will delete and you will start working on the new uh, things maybe you can try if you are working in a spider or such kind of ui don't use CLA functions and then you know try to uh, create a new figure and see what happens you can share it in the comment section so now we can look at the behavior of community rainfall of course it's increasing and we know because we've generated a uh, uniform distribution mean is going to be 0 0.5 so if in uh, uh, in the about 100 uh, minute where we have 21 numbers so we can expect mean to be about 10.5 we are not going to check it here because we are not interested in the magnitude of this so these are the ways you can make bar plot you can do cumulative sum remember the idea here is not so much going to the hydrology which will start going into the you know second part of this uh, series but to understand how we can make different kind of plot so we learned how to make a bar plot how to do cumulative sum computation another commonly used thing is we need to interpolate our data we need to interpolate our rainfall like you know you may be getting data at 10 location so instead of reading some actual data where i need to distribute some file we'll generate some 10 random location 
will generate some uh, you know the y location so it might be latitude and longitude then we'll generate some 10 random rainfall before we go into the uh, into the uh, the uh, interpolation we can look at how the location looks like so either we can use this uh, plot function let's use plot function and we'll see how we can use some other function <laughs> so when we are plotting x and y see each location is independent of others it does not make any sense to make a line plot you know which you can see here this is a line plot if we want to plot it using this we can use some symbol which will tell these are the independent plot so it means put the red square or you know put maybe some red uh, dot also you can put so either we can use this or when we use the scatter directly also we can use we don't have to define the uh, you know tell this is a we are interested in the location not connecting it through some line or something so same thing we can achieve through the scatter or you know you can uh, define in the matplotlib you want to make it as a uh, some symbol you want to plot at the location and you are not interested in connecting them through some uh, 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 in line or dashed line or some other kind of feature and you can define your x level y level so you, we can see how over uh, the gauges are uh, you know distributed it was the random data and you can see how it's looking now we need to apply some functions and to compute or we need to do the interpolation one of the commonly used interpolation method is the Thiessen polygon which is simply a nearest neighbor approach so we will apply the nearest neighbor approach you can read about it okay same thing i'm going to explain here so we'll use scientific python library and since we are going to work only on one function grid data so we'll import directly these functions rather than importing the entire library and we can define uh, remember our locations were round, uh, random uh, number and they were varying from 0 to 1 and here also in y direction also 0 to 1 so we can define the domain over which we want to interpolate so we are defining 0 to 1 and we are taking 1000 you know distance or 1000 sample between 0 and 1 the more number you take the more smoother your curve will look like but the nearest fiber values are you know very same and you will see the sudden jump so it does not make so much sense here depending upon the requirement depending upon the grid at which you want to run your model you can choose the uh, how many elements you want to generate and here we will use the grid data function so first we are defining the x and y which is the location at which we have the data then we are defining rain or the y variable you know z variable we can say it could be rain it could be pd it could be something else then ultimately we are defining the grid at which we want the output so this is a very simple uh, way of uh, using this function so let's run it now we can use there are many functions we can use to you know visualize this we are using contour f f means field contour so we define x y and we define the gridded output which we are getting from this function so you can see we are getting thesian polygons and you know uh, the interpolated rainfall you can see i have also overlaid the uh, location of grid so you can see why you know this kind of behavior you are getting we can use some other functions like you know there are i'm so which means image so many other things things are there instead of field contour you can simply might you can play it you know the contour just try it without using the f you know so there are various ways you can visualize your data so that's it so we learned uh, two basic things we do with the rainfall but how we can do it in python so slowly as we are progressing we are going much more deeper into uh, hydrologies and you know maybe in the part series of this uh, second series of this lecture you will see where we will not talk about the basics of uh, python will directly take some problem and we'll see how we can solve it using the python so thank you see you in the next session